let, let's have a look at just one more story, the seatbelt story. Yeah. Oh, the seatbelt story, yes. OK, this is quite funny because this, this is made, it's terrible. This is in the Daily Mail as well. Now, in 1973, the government were considering making seatbelts compulsory. So they had, they had all these objections from the, the general public. They ranged from the elderly refusing to drive at all rather than put on this newfangled idea, and, and to dwarfs and to tall people who said <laughs> that they just don't fit, and uh, they're obese, they can't use them, and this is mine. Women might object because of the boobs. I find it really uncomfortable driving and you get a big squashy boob. Yeah, you, you know, I, not all women are like me, but, I, you know, a lot of women do find it really uncomfortable. So, um, they should modify it. Somehow. They should modify yeah. it, you know, so... I don't know, but do something different, because it is quite uncomfortable. But it is quite funny that, I you know, find it, this... uh, I find it scratches my boots. Does it? <laughs> oh, seriously. You get a little bit chaffy. Yeah, a little bit of chaffy. Bit... Just on the left one, Gail, not the right one. On the left one, one. just the your left, left one. Boobie. You might need to put a sponge there, you know. <laughs> just as a buffer. <laughs> Ching, I was joking, love. They're not that big. <laughs> I'm a man. I know, I know David's the fit one, but they're not. <laughs> but basically, basically, if you're watching, you must all wear your seatbelts yeah. and no excuses. Because I tried that once when I got pulled over by the police and I said, it hurts my boob. And he went, I don't care, you're fine. Here's uh, what's coming up after the break today.